I was on Pinterest last week, and I took a look through some of my old saved pins, noticing a handful of grid journals. I never did anything with these pins, just saved them and forgot about them. But today, that's going to change. These beautiful little grids gave me an idea. Let's get the project started, then I'll tell you why I can't wait for you to try this as well. My first step was taping my paper off into 12 grids, and the second step is to decide on four different color palettes. I would say three to five colors per palette, and I'm trying to choose combinations slightly outside of my usual range. After a bit of experimenting, I decided on these four combos. For the top row of grids, I'll be using Prussian Blue, Payne's Gray, Burnt Sienna, and Yellow Ochre. I started out by misting my paper with a spray bottle so I can get sporadic bleeds and blends rather than working on an entirely wet or an entirely dry surface. For now, I'm misting the top row only. I'm going into this next part without much of a plan. I know that I want to keep things abstract. Although I might go for a very vague feel of the outdoors and nature, there won't be anything too obvious. And now let's get into the reason you're here and why we're creating these abstract color grids. As I mentioned, I'm planning to use a combination of three to five colors for each row, and I'm pairing up some color combinations that I wouldn't normally gravitate towards. So for me, the grids are serving as a color study of sorts, but that's not all we're doing with these. Quick side note, you'll see I'm loosely dropping in paint, just adding some background color for this first layer. And for the second row, I'll be painting with Lamp Black, Burnt Umber, Payne's Gray, and Cadmium Red. Okay, so I'm going to let you in on one of my major weaknesses when it comes to art. I'm guilty of reaching for the same colors time and time again. In fact, I even do this in my wardrobe. Sifting through my closet, you'll find the same three or four colors appearing over and over again. Is anyone else guilty of this? This project is forcing me to get creative with color matchups and try to find different vibes and moods. So once our paintings are complete, we'll be evaluating whether the various combos evoke different feelings and emotions, taking note of these on our grid journal. After all, even if I do have a handful of favorite colors, would I really want every single thing I paint to have the same vibe? No, of course not. Like shirts in my closet, the same ones won't work for every single occasion or season. On to the third row. I'm using Perline Green, Terry Verte, Dioxazine Purple, and Purple Lake. So technically, my grid project isn't in a journal, but because I plan to use a lot of watercolor, I wanted to be able to tape my page down securely. But hey, they're still grids. So as I work, I'll briefly go through the 10 main colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, black, white, and brown, and the emotions they're said to evoke. First up, red. Some of the words associated with red are passion, danger, urgency, power, and determination. I'm starting on the final row now. I'll be using Burnt Umber, Yellow Ochre, Perline Green, and Payne's Gray. Yes, I know there's an overlap with some of the colors here, but hey, baby steps. Maybe I'll be more adventurous with my next collection of color grids. I'm doing my best to allow my movements to be spontaneous and not to put too much thought into the shapes because I want the colors to be the main focus and play the biggest role in driving the emotions. I don't want the shapes specifically to influence my mood. And on to the next color, we have orange. Enthusiasm, success, warmth, creativity, and excitement. Yellow, joy, happiness, enthusiasm, energy, and hope. The background layers are dry, so I'm coming back through with darker variations, still using the same color palette for each row. And on to green. Peace, calmness, growth, balance, and safety. Blue, depth, stability, confidence, loyalty, and sadness. Purple, luxury, mystery, wisdom, power, and arrogance. Of course, these lists are not all inclusive. 
There are so many other words that come to mind when we see specific colors, and our feelings may vary depending on the intensity and saturation of colors as well. Pink, love, gentleness, emotional, sensitive, caring. White, innocence, purity, luxury, security, and simplicity. Next, I'll be adding some random patches of metallic paint. This adorable little tin is by CSY Art Gallery, and it's my go-to choice for metallic watercolor. Back when I purchased mine, they were only around $11 or $12 for the six colors here, which I would consider a great price for such vibrant, sparkly options. I'm not sure if they're still the same price or not, but I'll include a link in the description, along with all the other supplies I'm using today. You'll see that I've moved on to the next layer in this mixed media color grid process. I'm using a Sharpie S gel pen to add some small details, although I'm pretty sure any black pen would do since we're not gonna be adding any water on top of this. So basically add dashes, add dots, cracks, swirls, circles, whatever your heart desires. One thing I really like to do is outline some of the areas where the colors meet. I think it's a cool way to reinforce some of the features and shapes that we created with the bleeds from the first two layers. And now back to the colors while I get busy peeling away the tape. Black is often associated with power, boldness, sophistication, elegance, mystery, and death. And finally, brown, stability, earthiness, sadness, isolation, loneliness. And there we go. Isn't that final tape peel so satisfying? I'm going to be writing in these grids, adding words that describe the feelings, moods, and emotions that come to mind when I look at these abstract images and colors. So what do you feel when you look at the top row? I've decided to go with enthusiasm, joy, hope, stability, creativity, and warmth. For the next row of three, my words were danger, power, urgency, mystery, and isolation. Row three, love, gentleness, wisdom, safety, peace, and balance. And row four, I chose the words Earthiness, loyalty, confidence, energy, growth. Okay, so this is the final result. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Will you be using abstract color grids when setting the overall atmosphere and mood for your next painting? Well, I hope you had fun and thank you so much for watching.